Today I've decided to see what the drop is on my 22. I'm going to start at 50 yards and work my way out to 200. That's the goal in 25 yard increments. So I have my suppressor on it, Maglite suppressor. I have a Form 1 tax stamp for that. Paid my $200. And I'm shooting standard velocity CCIs. This rifle loves those, as many do. I've got a Savage FVSR. Um, 22, it's bull barrel in the Boyd's tactical stock. So I'm going to start, check my zero, and then work my way out and see what the adjustments are for each distance. I've got a primary arms 4 to 14 by 44 reticle, so I will actually dial all of these adjustments while I'm figuring them out. I usually do holdovers, but while I'm actually getting the exact um, drop I'm going to dial all of this so we'll take it a step at a time see what happens so I zeroed the rifle at 50 yards and I've just moved it out to move the target out to 75 yards now we're going to see what the drop is between 50 and 75 and we'll take some shots and then go out and take a look at it Okay, let's go take a look. So my point of aim was here at the center of A. So it looks like these are half inch. There's one inch, two inch, two and a half, maybe two and a quarter inches. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarter inches say average terrible group but it is what it is two and three quarter inch group um, this scope is in mils so two and three quarters at a hundred three point six I'm gonna say point seven mils I need to come up so I'm gonna go make an adjustment and shoot see if I can get this impact up here at a and then we'll figure out what a drop is. So I started up here, started working my way up and realized that my left and right was off a little bit. The further you go out, the easier it is to pick up your left and right. So then I ended up working my way to that shot, went over just a little bit. Turns out it's nine mils of adjustment from 50 to 75 yards with that scope and that Savage Mark II with standard CCIs. So now we'll move it out to 100 and see what happens. And this is where 100 yards is right now. It's what we're shooting from. Not that that really matters, but with a 22, it's starting to get there. I'm going to shoot at B. It's probably going to hit down in D somewhere, but that's where we're going to start.
ended up coming up one and a half mils from my 75 yard. And I'll have to watch the video to see what how it progressed, but <clears throat> I think my last shot was a one and a half mil increase. And if I was looking correctly, I think they strung up this way to that. So I'm going to move out to 125, see what the drop is. I'm going to start using this target. It's a little bit easier to see from back there. So from 50 to 75 yards was a 0.9 mil drop. Then from 75 to 100, I went to two and a half, so that was a 1.6. So I'm going to guess probably I'm going to be at three and a half mils off of zero now. I'm just going to set it at three and a half off zero, see how close my guess is. I ended up coming up to, I think it was four mils from zero. I'm not sure which shot was which, but I couldn't see where I was hitting from back there. So I'll go shoot three more, see what happens. So it looks like it's a little high, maybe a little, you come down, and, so I'm at four, probably set it at 3.9, and with my heartbeat, <clears throat> it's not an excuse, just reality, I'm running back and forth, so it's 125 yards now. So my heartbeat's probably causing a little bit of that, but I think we'll set my 125 yard zero at 3.9. All right, I'm gonna go get another target and we'll move it out to 150. Now we're set up at 150. I ended up changing my adjustment a little bit, shot a couple more shots at 125, and it turns out my 125 adjustment is 3.7 mils. So now I'm at 150 yards, and I think I'm gonna set it at five mils off of zero. Start there and see what happens. Okay, so those look about right. I think that one and that one. So this is 150 yards. 5.2 mils. Okay, let's move out to 175, see what happens. Okay, I ran out of big targets, so I'm back to the small targets. And my battery's almost dead, so I'm going to try to get the 175 in here. That might be it for the day. But this is 175 yards with a 22. It's a pretty big spread, but the vertical is pretty close. So I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna move out to 200 yards and then be done. Well, the target says 175, but I've just moved it out to 200 and I'm going to shoot the B side. Let's see what happens.
Well, it looks like my <clears throat> vertical is about as good as it's going to get. It's low and high about the same distance, so it's probably right. Okay, I'm going to pack up and go home. And then we will take the data that I've got. I'll show it to you on paper and see what the adjustments are from 50 yards out to 200. I had to go back home and recharge my battery on my camera because it died while I was out there. So, got the battery charged and typed up the drop on the 22. The reason I wanted to do this is because I've been watching some air hunters. Um, they use air guns. One of them is, his name's Matt Dubber from South Africa. I think his address is like Air Arms Hunting SA. I think that's what it is on YouTube. And I notice he takes like a, I think it's a 22 or 25 caliber air rifle and shoots out to 100 and up to 150 yards with it. He always dials, doesn't always say what he's doing, but I thought that takes a lot of practice. So I wanted to take my 22 out, <clears throat> which is a similar round. Standard velocity is a similar velocity to what he shoots. I thought, I wonder what it would take to get my 22 to do that. Never done that before. So after doing this, I realized that Matt from the YouTube channel, he has a lot of practice and a lot of time in really getting to know each bullet and his scope. So I'll show you a picture of what my drop is. And again, I'm shooting a Savage Mark II FVSR with my suppressor on it that I have a tax stamp for and here's what the data looks like. So 0 to 50 yards, 75 yards, 0.9, but you don't need me to read it to you but here are the drops out to 200 and I calculated what the actual inches is, what the inches are out at 200 yards. So one mil at 100 yards is 3.6 inches. So 9.2 mils at 100 yards and then you double it because you're at 200 yards works out to be a 66 and a quarter inches drop. With a 50 yard zero when I shoot out at 200 yards I end up aiming 66 inches over the center of the target that I'm shooting at. It's a pretty good drop, but it's a 22 standard velocity. So if you're wondering what your Mark II will do, and you have a 50 yard zero, you should have similar data. And now I guess if you want to shoot targets out to 200 yards, this would be a good starting point for you. It's a lot different than shooting my 6.5, which still at 200 yards, it's pretty much you aim at what you want to hit. But interesting. Shoot a lot cheaper and it's a lot quieter with a suppressed 22. And it was fun. So it was about, I think it was 25 degrees when I was out shooting, which will have some impact on the trajectory. But just thought I'd do it for fun. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or any suggestions, I'd love to hear it. Thanks.